this house sucks. All of these single bulbs hanging everywhere that are dim and yellowy and make me look like I've got jaundice. Anyways, moving on, we're at week two here at the Partridge House, so we're moving on to getting some of the finishing work done or moving towards that finishing work. So we're going to start out by painting all the ceilings. That'll allow us to get us to get the floor in, not installed, but just into the house. Uh, it sucks having the floor all piled in rooms when you need to move a ladder around and paint. No fun at all. Uh, but it's also going to let us change out some of these lights and put in some of the finished lights, which should be a whole lot brighter. Uh, but it should be a pretty good week, and then we'll finish off this week with getting our electric, uh, our electric, our electric done, <laughs> getting our electricity upgraded. So right now we have 60 amps coming into the house. That does not meet current code here, so we need to bring that up to 100 amps, and we'll be doing that on Thursday and Friday. This ceiling is so hard to see where you've painted. That's a million times better in terms of actual light. We're back here for another day at the Partridge House. Uh, as you saw yesterday, or to end last week, we finished all the ceilings and we have got the lights in upstairs. So moving on this week, the first thing we're gonna get going with is framing out those kicks for the kitchen. So we're gonna jump into that right away, but we're also gonna head down into the laundry room and start framing out the new walls because we have the electricians coming this week and we need to get that in place before they are here. So, without further ado, we might as well get at her.
All right, so framing is just moving along nicely here. Uh, we're starting to get the doors in, as you can see behind me, into those spots. We are reusing what panels we can there and over top of my shoulder on that side. But our electricians have officially gotten started, so let's go take a look outside and see what they're up to. So one of the first things you'll notice is we're actually relocating the panel from underneath this overhang to the outside of the house over here. So by doing so, we actually have to run exterior conduit all the way back to the original hole. So tomorrow when we remove power officially, or when Epcor comes and removes power, we can then take that conduit and plug it back inside and get the meter work done. So as of right now, they've got a lot of this exterior conduit started. They've got the new meter in place. And after lunch, they'll be punching up through the roof and putting up the new mast. It feels so good to be finally putting this house back together. The last 10 days or so has been all prep work to allow us to move to the actual finishing work. Uh, stuff like getting the electrical upgrade, getting the cabinet kicks in, getting the walls painted and the ceilings painted. And a lot of stuff you just really haven't seen. So I want to take you on a house tour video, if you will, and show you what about three weeks worth of work has looked like for us. So there hasn't really been a huge change on the main floor. Uh, we've painted all of the ceilings of the common areas. Some of the bedrooms have been done, this one has not. You can see where we did the, uh, so the patchwork that you see there is from the anchors that hold the new meter and mast on outside. We did get the ceilings and lights done in here. This room has been painted except for that back wall, that's going to be our feature wall but the lighting is staying as is, just needs a clean. This room, totally painted as well, and completely redone, or well, the lights are completely redone. Now, one of the things you probably can't tell on video, but is very ob obvious in person, is all of the door frames you see here, and all the trim work, has all been sanded and restained, And it looks so, so good. I have to give a big shout out to mom who's the one that's been tackling all of those door frames and window trim. Uh, they, they just It's tedious work but it looks so, so very good. So we might as well head on downstairs now and that's where a huge change that you guys have not seen has actually taken place. So I'll flip you around here and let me show you what it looks like. So coming down the stairs you'll immediately notice we have white walls and that theme actually continues through the whole space. So what we've done is we've gone ahead and we've caulked all of the seams between the paneling. We did end up keeping the paneling. And we gave everything a nice coat of that frost paint, the same one we're using upstairs. Everything except for this feature wall you see. We have lots of plans for that, so stay tuned to get to see what that looks like. And the other big change has occurred in the laundry room. Again, a lot of this part you have seen, 
But there's our new electrical panel. That wall is now completely insulated and vapor barriered. And all we have is just an entry point into the room, so one entry point, and one point to storage, which is so much better than it used to be. Alrighty, so that really wraps up this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hopefully that gives you a really good idea of where we're at in the house so far. Hit that subscribe button, give us a little thumbs up, every little bit counts, and we'll see you guys in the next one.